Strawberry picking. We're gonna pick some strawberries. Everybody's here. Here we go. Yeah, we're gonna teach the little one how to do strawberry picking. Tanaka Farms in Irvine, California. We'll start off with a wagon tour. You ready to ride on the wagon? Yeah. Wow. Okay, you guys can come over to the back wagon. Just make sure the uh, the child is in the corner. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. And you guys have to. Is there room for two? Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Driving is the sensei, he's gonna get us around the farm today. How many more times is there? Awesome. Yay! So before we get started, we're gonna go over a little bit of wagon safety. So we wanna make sure that there's no kids sitting in the corners just because these edges tend to pinch in. So make sure you guys keep your elbows inside. I don't want anyone getting pinched when we go on short turns. And then just keep the rest of your um, arms legs and all inside of our wagon so we can all stay safe. And then for COVID safety, I want to make sure you guys all have your masks up over your mouth and nose. And then make sure you guys are practicing social distancing in our field as much as possible. I know it's a little cramped in our field because they're very narrow. But just stay with your families and we'll be good. Alright, so our first stop today, we're going to be picking our Maui onions. So they are our baby Maui onions. And then you guys can leave all of your belongings on the wagon right now. We're going to pack that bag. And then you're going to exit out on the left-hand side, okay? Oh, wow. That was so quick. Are you ready? Are you ready? You just need more time. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I need to prepare my hands for picking. <laughs> Thank you so much. Who's ready? Who's ready? <laughs> Good job, sweetheart. Oh, he wants more. Perfect. Yeah, he can take it. All right, next stop. 
Sweetheart, we got our onions. There we go. Did you guys know you were picking a vegetable today too, or was it a surprise? Surprise. Surprise. surprise? Oh, awesome. I'm so glad. It's always nice to get a little bonus item. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, depending on what floor you come for, there's always um, a possibility of getting Sweetheart, a look. bonus item. From Sweetheart, it. look. It just kind of depends on top availability. Did you guys look over on the right hand side to see some of our goats hanging out in the shade? And then we have our cab echo. She's somewhere in here. She's crazy. I think she's really hot. She is black and she has a white face. Oh, there she is. You see the cow? She is a miniature cow. You see the cow? She's 10 years old. And she's going to retire here with us. She's super sweet. And then after you guys' wagon ride, you guys can go with our barnyard friends. All right. Barnyard friends. So this is not the family. They originally started farming in the early 1800s in Japan. And they Uh, 
like coming up on the right hand side, you'll notice I push strawberries starting to grow. <laughs> 5,200 million. Awesome. All right, you guys ready? We have 350,000 strawberry plants. We have a ton to take care of, so our farmers are very, very busy. And then each strawberry plant uh, produces about one pound of strawberry. So on the minimum size, we're looking at 350,000 pounds of strawberries per season. Wow. Oh. So get busy. Have you ever had uh, strawberry pickers? Here, did anyone pick strawberries before? Yeah, a couple people. Okay, cool. Nice. Before we get out, I'll go over a couple of rules of what's okay to pick and then what's not okay. But it seems like we have some people that know the idea so far. Ooh, looks good. That one looks good. Good job, kiddo. Hi! Yeah, you're doing a good job. Oh, some good ones. <laughs> Sweetheart, show daddy. She's picking up. Oh, no, eating! <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Go ahead, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, you got a nice haul there. Oh, she? Come on, kiddo. Good job. High five. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that strawberry? Ichigo Oishi? Oh, yeah. And your strawberry. How does that sound? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, the type of strawberry you guys picked today, it is called San Andreas. So, the San Andreas breed, I think, what did I tell you guys this? Yeah. Remind me. No? Okay, awesome. So, that San Andreas breed is supposed to be the juiciest, the sweetest, and the reddest strawberry breed available out of the six different types grown. So, that is why uh, farms usually choose to grow that San Andreas type of strawberry. And then this plant here, here is really cool. It's Swiss chard, and that's a rainbow variety. Has anyone tried Swiss chard before? Yeah? You guys have tried it? Oh, awesome! Did you guys like it? Awesome. So that Swiss chard has really cool flavors. It's kind of like a cross between celery, a little bit of romaine, and then some kale. So it has a little bit of bitterness, but not too much. And then it has really beautiful colors. It's like the sunset. So it has reds, oranges, yellows, and occasionally some purples. It's really pretty. We have some more of our carrots right here. And then this whole section in the future is going to be where our watermelons will grow. And then some other melons like cantaloupe. And I think the um, Tanakas, they wanted to add the Japanese melon in there as well. 
here we have our tomato plants. These are going to be cherry tomatoes. Do you guys like cherry tomatoes? Yeah. yeah. So sometimes we'll do our cherry tomato picking tours. I think that's a lot to say. With our watermelon tours. So if you guys are interested, you can check out our website. I would say towards maybe mid-May. You can check our website to see when we'll have watermelon picking. Um, I think it starts in June and lasts until August. When you guys are picking your strawberries, did anybody notice some oddly shaped ones? Yeah, yeah so that happens. Remember that flower I was telling you guys about where the bee has to walk around? So if the bee um, doesn't walk all the way around the inside of the flower, it won't pollinate correctly. So that flower grows a little funny. So if he's a little sleepy and only does half of the flower, or maybe he's a little lazy and does a quarter of the flower, <laughs> then the flower or the strawberry is going to be a little wonky. So it could be longer on one side, uh, fatter on one side, really skinny. Or sometimes they look like caterpillars, so they're wavy. They grow in a line like this instead of straight down and kind of like a triangle tip on the bottom. And if you guys look over on our right-hand side, we have these strawberries here. They are growing in something called a grow stock. So the grow stock houses um, some cocoa as well as some compost. So the cocoa helps the strawberries, uh, the stalks stay in place so they don't blow over. Since we are in a bit of a canyon, it does tend to be windy here. Uh, so we don't want those strawberries blowing over. Otherwise, they're going to squish each other. And then the, the compost inside just makes the strawberries stay fresh. And then it allows them to um, just be fertilized properly and then pollinated by the bees so they have enough flowers. If you guys are hungry after your tour today, we do have our market stands open. Right. We've got a lot of snacks in there. We have uh, most of our produce in there that we sell. And then there's the same on the front and then the back. If you guys look up to the left hand side, we have our cart. This is like a Japanese festival of Konorobi, which means a child's day or children's day in Japan. So on May 5th, that, I think that's next Wednesday, that will be children's day and then the cart symbolizes each member of the family. So the biggest fish is Mr. Tanaka. The smaller fish next to him is Mrs. Tanaka, his wife, Shirley. Then we have their son, Kenny, his wife, and then their two kids. So it goes in descending order from oldest family member to youngest. And then each fish represents uh, like childhood youth. So it, uh, it pays respect to kids and how they're fun and their spirit is super excited and always willing to learn. That's why we celebrate Children's Day in Japan. Did you guys have fun today? Yay! Yay. Yay. All right, so make sure you guys grab all of your goodies. You're going to exit out on the left-hand side. You're going to follow me to this barnyard right here. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. All right. Don't forget anything here, guys. Uh, this is our last stop on the wagon, so make sure you grab Her all face. of your belongings. <laughs> and then follow me out to the barnyard. Let's give Vicente a big round of applause for being our driver. Thank you, Vicente. Yay! Show me that face. <laughs> Look at all those goods. I hear Piggy. Zeus, Poseidon, and Molly. I think I said they're twins. You've got to be kidding me. Dada? Daddy's here! Oh, yeah. making it's yeah. so cute. World's smallest breed of chicken. What's he eating?
耳が大きいね。重さみたいけど。No、interested in the horse? You want to see the sheep? He's a big guy. Yeah. Iko, 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 Iko. Good job. Iko, Iko. Iko, Iko. Good job, sweetheart. Yeah, dairy goats. Come here, sweetie. <laughs> Who is that? It's Buta chan. Buta chan. That's him. You say hello? <laughs> say how do you mean day? How do you mean much day? Baba. 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 I don't know how this guy can see. He has so much fur. Feathers. <laughs> Usagi. Hi. Yeah, what'd you get? Show daddy? Can you show daddy your sticker? Oh, San Rio! <laughs> Good job, carrot picking! <laughs> uh oh, sweetie! Bye bye.
Bye-bye.